I used to live contained within a series of concrete rooms, surrounded by stuff instead of nature. It started to feel claustrophobic, like I was trapped. I'm now growing in the garden of freedom. And this is a day in my life of what I do and what I eat. Enjoy. I start my day with some movement, whether it's jogging or in the food forest. And I actually love shoveling. Believe it or not, I do. By the way, cool pants, right? Most clothing I'm wearing today is actually from a wonderful small business called Ethnics, and I will leave a 10% discount off their clothing in the description below. Definitely check them out. Rather than travel away from home to go to a gym like I used to, I get a lot of my strength work on the land, not only keeping me healthy, but also helping grow the food forest so we can be self-sufficient. I just don't think it's safe to be completely dependent on someone else to grow all your food for you. I collect soil like this probably once or twice a week, depending on the season. This soil is used to grow our future food crops. Lately I've been adding more greens to my smoothies and we have an abundance growing in our garden. This is my favorite green called sweet leaf which is literally a sweet nutty green with a texture of like fresh asparagus. It's a great source of potassium, vitamins A, B, C, iron and calcium. And it's delicious. bother using a cup to drink out of the blender is like a big cup anyway so I drink straight out of it I love to do some sun baking every day with breakfast it's a great healthy source of vitamin D and some of you ask me if I use sunscreen and I do not I haven't for many many years I'm just smart you know I don't I make sure I don't get sunburned so for the first time in about seven years I've changed my hair care routine since discovering Morocco method I used to use bicarb soda, but got concerned about long-term potential hair thinning. These are now my favorite shampoo and conditioner bars, which contain all natural plant-based ingredients. Thank you to Morocco Method for sponsoring this video. And honestly, regardless of this being sponsored, I genuinely love these products. All natural, cruelty-free, plant-based ingredients, and the products are made in the USA. And for a limited time, you can get a generous 20% off discount of all products if you use my code. The link and code is in my description. Today I'm going to use this light blonde henna. I'm going to show you how to use it and the before and after result. And this is before. Firstly, you have to prepare the chamomile tea by adding boiling water to it, letting that sit and then taking the powdered henna, putting it into a bowl and adding limes or lemon. It is the same lightning effect whether you use limes or lemon. Then take the, the steeped tea water once it's cooled and add it to the mixture but just slowly adding it and then stirring and adding and stirring until you reach this potato mash kind of consistency you then want to cover it really well in plastic to keep the heat in and to help the development of the mixture and then put it aside for the next 12 hours while I'm waiting, I'm going to use Morocco Methods hair cutting kit to trim my fringe, which honestly grows like a weed. And these scissors are really high quality. They're made in Japan and it was a pleasure to use them. I'm by no means an expert cutter, but I'd rather do it for free, right, than pay like $30 for a haircut. 
Okay, it's been 12 hours, the mixture has developed and I'm going to use a little bit of the Euro oil around my hairline so I don't dye my skin with the henna. And then it's time to apply the mixture. I do recommend putting a, a few drops of the oil in the mixture so it's even easier to apply because it can be, you know, quite chunky and it's my first time doing it. But I worked it out, I got it through my hair and then covered with plastic so you've got to keep that heat in. To make sure I got all that heat trapped in there, I put another plastic bag and I also put a towel around my head and you got to wait about four hours for it to process. For lunch on this day, I had most of these cinnamon rolls, which were just incredible. If you want the recipe to these cinnamon rolls, it's very simple. Let me know in the comments. They are absolutely delicious and they only have a few ingredients. 10 out of 10, I definitely recommend. Okay, so it's time to wash the henna out of the hair. So I just take a little bit of this conditioner to help move the product out of the hair. And I actually love the result. I've got a before and after, but I'm saving that for the end of the video. So hang around for the end result. And let me know in the comments below how you think it turned out. The tomatoes are just going off at the moment. We can't keep up with the amount of tomatoes we have. And they're really delicious, sweet, non-acidic varieties because I have a bit of a problem with ones that are acidic. So these ones are perfect. the ball. Yeah, we're going to sow these in the ground. Yep. Oh, it's just so satisfying to grow your own food. Look at this amazing haul we brought in today. Sometimes I don't spend enough time in the food forest and get caught up in social media and the computer. And that's when I have to stop, take a breath, and ground myself by reconnecting with the nature around me.
Having a dehydrator off grid is definitely a luxury and we haven't had one the past six years until now. So it's been awesome. I like to make dehydrated goodies early on in the day with the hope that they will be ready for dinner. I'm making delicious raw food wraps right here. And I actually have a new stainless steel dehydrator, which is just incredible. And I may show you that next video. My life partner, Snoopy, is an incredibly hard worker and he's a huge part of why the Garden of Freedom is as amazing and beautiful as it is today. Of course, no relationship is perfect and we have our ups and downs, but I'm forever grateful to have him in my life. One of you asks basically advice on how we keep our relationship healthy, living in the jungle together like this. Well, there's no perfect prescription I can give you, but I can tell you is that he is my best friend. And I would say most couples would qualify in this regard that your partner is your best friend, right? So it's really important to remember when you are challenged with your partner that this person who is pissing you off right now is still your best friend. So to be respectful and to treat your partner as you would other people in your life that you love very much. Obviously, this is easier said than done sometimes, but it's always just important to keep that in mind. Also, we both have similar, like a similar sense of humor. We were both fruit-based vegan already when we met. We both wanted to cultivate our own food forest. Like having as many things in common as possible is really important for long-term success. Less points of contention, if you know what I mean. Mutual respect, keeping a light heart, and not being too rigid on any matters that arise so easily compromising when it's needed Whoa. and lastly and maybe most importantly we're both comfortable saying sorry when needed Whoa. So this was one of the first wraps that I made, so it's not the most beautiful, but um, wraps have been a game changer for me on the frugivore diet or on a raw food diet because they are just a bit more interesting than having bananas for dinner, right? Sometimes bananas for dinner, okay, but you know, sometimes you want a burrito and these are a great, great option, delicious, really enjoying it. And that's our sweet potato from the garden. And then you just wrap that baby up and this one maybe is a little bit big but it still worked it still worked and um yeah we we just usually have half each or snoopy has a bit bigger half than i do and i might accompany it with some other 
salad ingredients and it's a delicious dinner. It really, really is. I am still eating a little bit of cooked food from the garden, but I am aiming at eliminating that soon and being all raw on the frugivore diet. Mmm. It's a big one. Delicious. And here we are, the results of the Morocco Method henna I put in my hair. And I really love the results. It's, it's very obvious. It's lighter. I can see that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Here's the before and after. It's just, it's more full bodied as well. It's looking a bit flat before. And I haven't even put a conditioner or anything in it. So I'm very impressed. So don't forget to check out Morocco Method's natural plant-based products. There's a link to the 20% off limited discount in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below what part you enjoyed most, what you want to see more of, what you want to hear more of. And I will think about bringing it to you. Okay, don't forget to go fruit yourself and I will see you next video.